Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make stickers using Ideogram. And the theme that I'm using today is one of my favorite characters, Daryl Dixon from The Walking Dead. The prompt that I use is Daryl Dixon, Walking Dead, Vector, Sticker, Design. It's as simple as that. And then these are some of the other designs. So I think this is probably one of the best ones. And this is my favorite one because I like the fact it has the scarf, which is similar to the Daryl Dixon spinoff. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other ones. And don't worry about the face. I'm going to show you how I fix that real quick. Now on the left hand side, you can kind of see I already made an update to his face, but, but it didn't turn out exactly how I want it. So I'm actually using this bot right here called Insight Face Swap. And I'm going to show you how I use that real quick. All I do is click on a form forward slash. I click on swap ID. Well, if we're starting out, we would do a save ID, but I already did this in part one where I showed you guys how to make a t-shirt design. I'll put that video in the description so you can see the full tutorial. But now that we already created that, we're going to go to swap ID. And now we're just going to put in the name Daryl. And then I'm going to drag the image that I want to use, which is this image right here. So now that I have the image added, I just go ahead and click enter. And I'm hoping I get a better result than the first one. I don't know why his eye is closed on. Okay. It looks like it did it again. <laughs> All right. So this is the ideogram image. And then this is the image. And this is the image that I created with the insight face swap. I do not know what's up with his eye. But I do like the way the right one looks. So technically in Photoshop, I can just remove this. And I can just flip that eye over and make it look better. Let's go ahead and try this one. Okay, so this is the ideogram image. And then this is the image that I updated with Insight Face Swap. I do see an improvement as far as the eyes, but I don't know why it keeps closing the left eye on this kind of sticker, but the fact that it did kind of adjust the bone structure a bit. Um, actually, I actually prefer this one. I think I would have to manually go in and then fix the eye a bit because overall the bone structure actually looks pretty good. And this eye on the left hand side actually looks better. I could just flip that over and then adjust it a tiny bit. So I guess sometimes you get a better look with the inside face swap sometimes ideogram already does a pretty good job and then you can just make a few adjustments to kind of get it the way that you want so just another quick example of how you can do micro optimizing to get the sticker the way that you want it to look let's go ahead and do one more with this one okay this one looks so much better i think this is my favorite sticker now this is the ideogram design and this is the final design from using the insight face swap. It looks so much better. And I love the fact that even though it's the half profile, it turned out better than the forward facing images. So I'm very happy with this one. I think this one is my favorite. I would probably just do a quick few edits, you know, like adjust the hair, the ear a bit and just a tiny bit with the design. But overall, I think this one looks so good. Hey okay guys, so this is how you create your own stickers that look exactly the way that you want it. They look like your favorite characters and you're going to be able to get designs that are more original. And if this tutorial was helpful, please make sure to subscribe and check out my other AI videos. All right, guys, have a great night and see you guys next time. Bye bye.